For over 600 years, the Voynich Manuscript has baffled historians, linguists, and codebreakers alike. This medieval text is adorned with curious illustrations, stars, planets, mysterious plants, zodiac symbols, and even strange depictions of women surrounded by colorful liquids. But what makes it truly enigmatic is the text itself, which is written in an undeciphered script, possibly by five different scribes. Despite countless attempts to crack the code, the manuscript's true meaning and origin remain unknown. What secrets could this mysterious book hold? The Voynich Manuscript is a mysterious codex dating back to the 15th century, named after Polish antiquarian Wilfred Voynich, who discovered it in 1912 at a Jesuit college near Rome. It has been speculated to be everything from a secret espionage code to an artificial language or a financial hoax. Despite extensive research and debate, the Voynich Manuscript remains an unsolved enigma, now housed at Yale University. Radiocarbon dating of the Voynich Manuscript places its origins between 1404 and 1438. Originally composed of 116 leaves, 14 of which are now missing, the manuscript features around 170,000 characters, equating to about 80 to 100 pages. Divided into four distinct sections based on its illustrations, it covers botany, astronomy or astrology, organic imagery and pharmacology. Although the plants, stars and objects depicted remain largely unidentifiable, despite these attempts to categorize its content, scholars have struggled to match the images with the mysterious text. Since its discovery, numerous theories have emerged about the Voynich manuscript's origins. Winfried Voynich, who found the manuscript, believed it was penned by Roger Bacon, based on the letter enclosed within the Codex. Some suspected Voynich himself forged it, while others thought it was a 17th century hoax to defraud Emperor Rudolf II, the Holy Roman Emperor. However, these theories were debunked in 2009, when radiocarbon dating revealed the manuscript dates back to the early 15th century, confirming its authenticity and age. Not only the origin, but one of the most puzzling aspects of the Voynich manuscript is the language it uses, which remains undeciphered. Some speculate it was written in a cipher to conceal industrial espionage organized by the Ottoman Empire against Venice. Another theory proposes that it's a steganographic text, hiding coherent sentences within gibberish. Other hypotheses suggest it might be written in a long-lost or artificial language, potentially derived from the glagolitic alphabet. However, no theory has been proven and some believe the text might be intentionally meaningless. Despite modern research bringing fresh insights into the Voynich manuscript, its mysteries remain unsolved. In 2014, English linguist Stephen Bax claimed to have deciphered a few words, suggesting some connection to plant names. In 2019, Gerard Cheshire proposed that the manuscript contained herbal recipes and remedies. More recently, in 2023, Italian scholar Eleonora Matarez asserted that the text was written in a German dialect still spoken in parts of Carnia, Italy. Despite these efforts, none of these claims have been universally accepted or confirmed. But experts continue to chip away at the mysteries of the manuscript, such as the meaning behind it and the origins of the manuscript, even as we speak. In 2024, researchers Keegan Brewer and Michelle L. Lewis conducted a study analyzing the rosette, the Voynich manuscript's most intricate illustration. They compared it to medieval texts, suggesting the circles and symbols might represent late medieval ideas about gynecology and sexology. Brewer linked the nine circles of the rosette to the medieval belief of the uterus containing seven chambers and the vagina having two openings. While speculative, their theory aligns with medieval censorship practices and could offer new insights into the manuscript's meaning and purpose. In another groundbreaking 2024 study, Fagan Davis utilized multispectral imaging to reveal Roman alphabet letters hidden in the margins of the Voynich manuscript's first page. These columns, Roman letters, Voynich characters and offset Roman letters suggest an early decoding attempt, 
likely by 17th century scholar Johannes Marcus Marcy. By comparing handwriting samples, Davis identified strong markers linking Marcy to the manuscript's cryptic notes. While the findings may not solve the cipher, they add a new chapter to the manuscript's early decryption history and intrigue scholars further. Yet, despite these efforts, the manuscript's true purpose remains elusive. Could it be an ancient cipher or simply a work of imagination? But until the mysteries are decoded, what do you think the Voynich manuscript truly represents? Share your theories in the comments below.